Time to start the weekend in style. We welcome you to Friday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and our reporter, Ali LaForce. I really didn't see much of an edge from them. A little more intensity could have gone a long way. Yeah, you hate to be critical, but that's part of our job. You have to call it the way we see it. That night, they were flat. And the starting lineup for the Grizzlies. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Jackson out there with Brandon Clark. And it's Conchar in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Moran. Four on the clock. 18 feet out. Well, Richard, very early going in the NBA calendar. Think back to your rookie season. What were some of your first impressions? Oh, my rookie year was a whirlwind. We were picked to finish last in the Eastern Conference. We got going from the start, and we were number one all the way into the NBA Finals. So for me, my rookie year, it was pretty much just a blur. Now Conchar, outside Bain. First quarter of play, a minute in. Three misses in a row. Still looking for their first bucket. Collins with a screen on Bain. Here's Beal. Collins against Jackson. Collins a screen. Here's Middleton. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Making his presence known with that why Jackson Jr. understands when to go after blocks. Bane. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to start the game with four straight misses. Look, look, that's about as rough as it gets. It'll get going soon. Well, you really can't say enough about what Jaron Jackson Jr. has done since entering the league, RJ. Yeah, B.A., not only is he a walking bucket, but opposing offenses have to account for how good he is on the defensive end. That's why he was Defensive Player of the Year. Now here's Moran. Over Brogdon. And it's blocked by Collins. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Man, good whistle there. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for two. Jalen Duran. And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And he makes both free throws. Here's Morant. Memphis calls timeout. And in last year's playoffs, Memphis falling to the Lakers in six, RJ. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointing season for the Grizzlies. They were the two seed, but injuries to Brandon Clark, injuries to Steven Adams, that just put them in a position that was not there for a postseason run. Woods checked in for John Collins. The inbound pass. Morant with the slam. As usual, Morant bringing down the house. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Wood right side. Pass to Duran. Crafty move. Penny takes it up and lays it in. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. It's stolen by Brogdon. Here's the break. Back to Wood. Oh, stolen by Moran. Conchar with the ball. Now guarded by Brogdon. There's Jackson with the three. Drops in the three. The potential of Jaron Jackson is endless. A center who has a tremendous J. Now here's Brogdon. Pass to Middleton. Can't connect from short range. And there comes a point when, for the team's sake, you might want to move it. He's hurting him with all of these misses. Here's Moran. And it's Memphis with another. 
Just taking what the defense oh, gives him. Morant keeping it simple on offense. I love it. here for the Grizzlies. Aldama's checked in for Clark. Stevens comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. And Williams is subbed in for Conchar. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Wood a screen on Moran. And it's Brogdon off the drive. Wood high post. The floater. Stevens with a rebound. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. Pass to Bain. Here's Aldama. And another basket for Memphis. 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Middleton outside. Duran the screen. And he lobs it up. I mean, the versatility of Middleton. Not just a scorer, also a solid passer and distributor. Memphis leading. Morant with it. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his first foul of the game. So both teams changing it up here. Substitution on the court. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Jackson, the pass to Aldama, shoots over Duran. Can't cash in the 10-footer. Oh, wow. This close, you got to finish strong. You can't give yourself room for a mistake like that. Duran, the screen. Heeled with the ball. Jackson in his pocket. Here's Duran. It's rebounded by Memphis. Defense pulled out all the stops to shut him down there. Williams finds Jackson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on heels. And what really distinguishes Jackson, the soft touch of the shot. Most young bigs are still developing that. Two shots. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. That'll count. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Grizzlies out in front, up four. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you think, guys? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. So on the floor for Memphis to kick off the second quarter. We've got Jackson. He's out there with Santi Aldama. Jackson out there with Luke Kennard. And it's Williams in at the point. Pass to Kennard. Let's the three fly. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Healed against Jackson. Eason a screen on Jackson. Heald passes to Capella. Back to Heal. Drives to the hoop. Kicks it out to Smart. Just five on the clock. Over Williams. Williams grabs the board. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Richard, if you think about Smart, he's such a dependable player at both ends of the floor. Especially on the defensive end, he is a lockdown guy. When he won Defensive Player of the Year in 22, he was the first guard to do it in 26 years since Gary Payton. That tells you the type of impact he can have. Heald, a screen on Jackson. Easton, pass to Heald. Good on the shot. Nice move. Heald showing he's not just a three-point shooter. And here's Memphis. Jackson with a screen on Smart. 
It's stolen by Smart. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Brian, there's a youthful exuberance in the Grizzlies locker room that some say more resembles a college team. Jaron Jackson Jr. said, quote, everybody listens to the same music, does the same things, watches the same stuff. We all vibe together and we like hanging around each other, and it translates. Brian? Oh, you like that connection. Allie, thank you. It's good. The team first mindset of Jackson willing to get the ball to his open guys. And here's Smart. Screen by Capella. Three-pointer is up from Brogdon. The rebound by Jackson. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Kennard. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Kennard's got five points now in the quarter. Kennard's gone two of three from the floor. Let's it fly from 18. And it's smart missing. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. Williams rebounded by Heald. Williams against Smart. Outside Heald. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. Five on the clock. No good with the triple. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's Kennard. From outside, off the mark. Healed on the wing. Outside Eason. The three. And he buries his first look. And with players like Moran and Giannis last season getting undercut around the rim, would you support moving the charge circle out of foot, Grant? You know, B.A., that's a good idea. I mean, I don't see why not. The league wants more highlights and less injuries, so it seems to make a lot of sense to me. Time out call, Memphis. So Memphis going with an almost entire new group here. Clark is checked in for Jackson. Conchar comes in for Jackson. Desmond Bain, he's checked in for Kennard. And it's Ja Morant in for Williams. A minute 20 left in the second. And it's Clark on the take. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Pass to Duran. And that one is stopped right through. His court vision and decision making, it's what makes Brogdon such a talented playmaker. Moran against Brogdon. Clark outside. Now here's Moran. Duran with the rebound. A chance at a two-for-one if they'd like. And I really can't see why they wouldn't. Beal attacking. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Duran's gotten four this quarter. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Conchar. Aldama outside. Clark outside. Shot clock at six. The three from Bain. Counted from distance. Bain's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Pass to Duran. Just three on the clock. Good D by Clark. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Grizzly. Ali, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. Thanks for stopping by. Taking a look at Memphis. First game of the year was a big L. Tonight could be a different story. Just got to bring the SLM. Get it done. So let's move on now to this Grizzlies game, which has turned out to be a tight one. You love how they've come in here and taken charge. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct.
We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. They've got Jalen Duran. Bradley Beal's out there with Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Collins in at the four. Kept alive. Pass to Duran. And stolen by Clark. And for the Grizzlies, Moran and Bade in the backcourt together. Brandon Clark out there with Jackson. And it's Conchar in at the three. It's Middleton on the wing, pounded by Moran. Brogdon, the pass to Duran. Out of bounds, it'll be Memphis's ball. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh, terrific defensive intensity right there. Getting stops like that is crucial for them right now. Memphis leading. You know, one thing about Malcolm Brogdon, he's confident and he inspires confidence in others. Yeah, former rookie of the year as a point guard of a veteran team. He definitely has a take charge persona. He makes big shots. He doesn't make many mistakes. His coaches and teammates trust him at a high level. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Heady play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Shooting for Memphis. And so he makes both from the line. So it's the home team now. Collins with a screen on Bain. And the basket by Beal. Yeah, Beal is a real volume three-point shooter. The defense cannot afford to let him get hot from the arc. Jackson outside. Pass to Bain. Here's Clark. Collins with the rebound. Clark's gone. One for three from the field here. Now Beal. Duran, the screen. Pulls up. Kicks it out to Middleton. Duran, the screen. Clock at six. Middleton with it. He's picked up by Bain. Here's Duran. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Duran's got 12. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Bain with a screen on Brogdon. Oh, Morant from close range. Working through the lane, Morant, he's got such a great change of speed to keep the defense off. Brogdon against Moran. Collins with a screen on Bain. Brogdon up top, hounded by Moran. Clark on the double. Duran, the pass to Middleton. No good off the glass. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. Yeah, <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Here's Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. And as tired as they might be after fighting to tie it up, they have all the momentum now to finish this comeback. Moran, the pass to Clark. To the inside. Here's Jackson. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got four rebounds in the game. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian, a few years back, Marcus Smart was talking about how he'd love to follow in Hall of Famer Gary Payton's footsteps as the next guard to win Defensive Player of the Year. He spoke it into existence last year, winning that coveted award. But guys, you watch him play. His actions on the court speak louder than words. No doubt about that, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff there. Substitution on the court. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Heel from outside. Second chance shot. Six to shoot. Pass to Brogdon. To the paint. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. First team foul. Substitution for the Grizzlies. Number 45. And we've got 118 left in the third quarter. Back to Smart. Left side heel. 
Down to five on the shot clock. Duran, the pass to Heald. Over Williams. Buried from 15 feet out. With such a smooth and quick release, Heald doesn't need much space to knock it down from mid-range. And it's Morant with the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. On the wing, Bain, guarded by Brogdon. Oh, Dama, no good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Smart passes to Durant. 35 seconds left in the third. Six on the shot clock. Healed for three. Altama grabs a board. Healed's gone just two of six shooting. 33%. Kicks it out to Jackson. Outside Bain. Pure from three-point range. Bain's gotten his third basket of the night. Williams against Heald. Here's Duran. Launches it. No good on the buzzer beater. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. It's the Grizzlies up three. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And here's Memphis. It's a three-point game. Tari Eason is out there with the... Pella. Then it's Buddy Heald. Then there's Marcus Smart. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Memphis. The name of the game in the modern NBA is making threes. Space in the court, and that's exactly what they are doing tonight. And you have to talk about the passing, too. I mean, the ball has been zipping around on the offense, and they've kept the extra pass mentality the whole way. Drains the triple. This is what Heal does. Exceptional at spacing the court with his three-point shooting. So it's the Grizzlies now. The lead is two. Kennard on the wing for three. Nails it from three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Smart passes to Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. You know, great point guards keep their eyes up on the court. Young players should watch how Smart goes about this man's business. Jackson on the wing. Fires from deep. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. As a big, unless you're a dedicated rim runner, have to be some kind of threat from distance. Heel from outside. Knocks down the triple. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Heel's gone four for nine in field goal attempts. Heel comes with a double. Here's the three, and Kennard with the three. And the Grizzlies lead by six. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Smart for three, and Smart nails the triple. But Smart can be a difference maker from deep. He doesn't always shoot the best shots, but he's got the confidence to knock them down. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Mark has checked in for Aldama. Con Char comes in for Jackson. Desmond Bain, he's checked in for Canard. And it's Morant in for Williams. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. Well, coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up. Continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. Thanks for that, Ali. It's Middleton on the wing. Conchar covers. Bain against Beal. Six to shoot. With his first shot attempt. And there's Collins on the assist by Beal. And now just a one-point Grizzly lead. Fantastic concentration by Collins. Beating good D is what separates the good from the great in this league. Here's Clark. 
Duran with the rebound. Clark's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Pass to Duran. To take the lead. And it's good on the layup. In a tight one like this, you have to trust in his ability. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. And Moran gets double teamed. Here's Clark. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. And you see the unselfishness from Morant, wanting to share that ball with any open teammate. Collins with a screen on Morant. Pass to Middleton. Here's Duran. Middleton outside, five to shoot. With the fadeaway. It's Middleton on the wing. Brogdon with the ball. Middleton passes to Duran. Over Clark. Duran, no good. Memphis leading. Let's it go from 14. Morant, no good. Right side, Brogdon. Beal outside. Nails it from beyond the arc. Talk about trusting Beal in the big moments. No matter the stakes, he can find a shot. Here's Bain. One minute left in the game. Now Moran. Outside Bain. Pass to Conchar. Jacks up a three. Here's Jackson. Now here's Middleton. Here's Collins, defended by Jackson. Collins passes to Brogdon. Collins a screen, lets it fly. Kicks it out to Middleton. Back to Duran. Shot clock at six. They shoot again! And that's an intentional foul. First team foul. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Seconds to foul. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. Two shots. And a player who oozes with confidence. Collins wants to be at the line right now. Timeout call. Memphis. They're behind by three. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. Here's Payne. Outside for Moran. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Yeah, from the stripe, Brogdon is exceptionally consistent. The defense fouled the wrong player, if you ask me. Put a bow on this one. His composure at the line effectively ends it. Seven seconds left in the fourth. Here's Conchar. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. And so the home crowd. 